learners, welcome back to our science class. Today we are going to discuss about Newton's third law of motion. At the end of this lesson, you are expected to infer that when a body exerts a force on another, an equal amount of force is exerted back on it. The learning objectives of this lesson are 1. Identify the action-reaction pair of forces in physical interaction 2. Identify action-reaction force in different life scenarios and 3. Cite real-life situations in which the third law of motion can be experienced or applied. Before we go the discussion, let us have a short review about Newton's first and second laws of motion. Your task is to tell whether the following is related to Newton's first law of motion, law of inertia, or Newton's second law of motion, law of acceleration. Type in the comment section if it is related to law of inertia, and 2 if it is law of acceleration. You have 5 seconds to answer each. 1. This is often written in the more familiar form, nit equals m a. Type your answer. The correct answer is 2, law of acceleration. 2. It states that an object at rest stays at rest, and an object in motion stays in motion with the same speed and in the same direction, unless acted upon by an unbalanced force. Type your answer. The correct answer is 1, law of inertia. 3. Acceleration is defined as a change in velocity. Type your answer. The correct answer is 2, law of acceleration. 4. The more inertia that an object has, the more mass that it has. Type your answer. The correct answer is 1, law of inertia. 5. The acceleration of a system is directly proportional to, and in the same direction as the net external force acting on the system, and inversely proportional to its mass. Type your answer. The correct answer is 2, law of acceleration. Good job, learners! For you to understand the third law of motion, let us describe what is the concept of action-reaction. The forces exerted by two objects on each other are often called an action-reaction force pair. Either force can be considered the action force or the reaction force. And, action and reaction force pairs don't cancel because they act on different objects. Now that we know the concept of action-reaction, and how it is related to Newton's third law of motion, we can state that, for every action, there is an equal but opposite reaction. This Newton's third law of motion is also known as law of interaction. Let us have examples of Newton's third law of motion. The following are some and common examples of law of interaction. Rocket propulsion. The reaction of a rocket is an application of the third law of motion. Various fuels are burned in the engine, producing hot gases. The hot gases push against the inside tube of the rocket, and escape out the bottom of the tube. As the gases move downward, the rocket moves in the opposite direction. The forces of hot gases and the rocket are equal but in opposite direction. Automobiles propulsion. Consider the motion of a bus. On the way to the school. A bus is equipped with wheels which spin backwards. As the wheels spin backwards, they grip the road and push the road backwards, while the road pushes the bus to move forward. The forces of the wheels and road are equal but in opposite direction. Flying motion of bird. A bird flies by use of its wings. The wings of a bird push air downwards. In turn, the air reacts by pushing the bird upwards. The size of the force on the air equals the size of the force on the bird. The direction of the force on the air, which is downwards, is opposite the direction of the force on the bird, which is upwards. Action-reaction force pairs makes it possible for birds to fly. Again, the forces of the wings of the bird and the air are equal but in opposite direction. And 
Propulsion of a fish. Consider the propulsion of a fish through the water. A fish uses its fins to push water backwards. In turn, the water reacts by pushing the fish forwards, propelling the fish through the water. The size of the force on the water equals the size of the force on the fish. The direction of the force on the water, which is backwards, is opposite the direction of the force on the fish, which is forwards. Once again, the forces of the fins of the fish and the water are equal but in opposite direction. Swimming. In this example, how the action-reaction occur? Will you please type your answer in the comment section? Alright. The action force is that, swimmer pushes the water in the backward direction. And the reaction force is, the water exerts a force on the swimmer to move him forward. The forces of the swimmer and the water are equal but in opposite direction. What other situations do you know that shows third law of motion? Please type your answers in the comment section. Alright. Thank you for that. Let us have an activity. This is entitled, Forces in Pairs. Remember that Newton's third law of motion or law of interaction emphasize that forces are being paired. These are action and reaction forces. For your task, you are going to identify the reaction force for each action force based on the presented images. Example, action force, bat pushing on ball. The reaction force is ball pushing on bat. Now it's your turn. Type your answer in the comment section. Action force, man pushes wall. Type your answer. If your answer is wall pushes man, you are correct. Next, action force is man pushes car. What is the reaction force? Type your answer. If your answer is car pushes man, you are correct. Great job, learners. Now let us check you our understanding by answering this. Multiple choice type of evaluation. Just type the correct letter of the answer in the comment section. You have 10 seconds to answer each. One according to Newton's third law of motion, what will happen to the nail when a hammer strikes and exerts force on it? A disappears into the wood B moves at a constant speed C creates a friction with the hammer D exerts an equal force back on the hammer Type your answer. If your answer is letter D exerts an equal force back on the hammer, you are correct. To which of the following statements completes the following sentence forces always occur blank a when velocities are constant b when velocities are constant c in triplets d in pairs type your answer If your answer is letter D in pairs, you are correct. Three person is attracted towards the center of the Earth by a 500 Newton gravitational force. What would be the force with which the Earth is attracted toward a person? A greater than 500 Newton B lesser than 500 Newton C 500 Newton D 1000 Newton. Type your answer. If your answer is letter C, 500 Newton, very good. For when a kangaroo jumps, the kangaroo's action force acts on the ground, what would be the reaction force? 
A acts on the kangaroo B exerted by the ground C lesser than the action force D greater than the action force. Type your answer. If your answer is letter B exerted by the ground, you are right. And 5. 5. What happens on the floor when the force of your body pushing down as you stand on it? A. A reaction to the floor pushing up B. Matched by the floor pushing up on your body C. Less than the reaction force applied by the floor D. Greater than the reaction force applied by the floor Type your answer. Your answer is letter B matched by the floor pushing up on your body, you are right. Well done learners. If you got lower than 3 correct answers, it's okay, you could still go back to the discussion to understand more about the lesson. If you have questions, just them in the comments section, and I will answer that as much as I can. Here is the summary of the lesson. Newton's third law describes something else that happens when one object exerts a force on another object. According to Newton's third law of motion, forces always act in equal but opposite pairs. The forces exerted by two objects on each other are often called an action-reaction force pair. Either force can be considered the action force or the reaction force. Action and reaction force pairs don't cancel because they act on different objects. And Newton's third law of motion states, for every action, there is an equal but opposite reaction. That's all for this lesson, see you in the next video. Please follow and subscribe us on our Facebook page and on our YouTube channel. Thank you and God bless.